Picture a storybook filled with vivid illustrations, each page offering a glimpse into another realm. Now, imagine you could step into those pages and immerse yourself into the worlds within. This is Magic Storybook, a course where we'll transform 2D art into 3D experiences. Here, we'll use Blender, the comprehensive 3D creative suite, and Grease Pencil, a tool within it that enables drawing 2D directly in a 3D environment. We'll learn how to blend 2D and 3D elements to forge hybrid creations that move from beyond the flat page into dimensional space. Each lesson will unlock new techniques to help elevate your drawings, giving them a unique sense of depth. There's no need for masterful art skills. All you'll need is a desire to learn and create. Let's embark on this journey together to craft a magic storybook of your own. Hey everyone, Kevin here. I know it's been a while, but I've been hard at work trying to finish part two of my Grease Pencil course, renamed to Magic Storybook, and it's out now. For those that enrolled in part one, thank you so much and for your patience. I wanted this update to come sooner, but with any kind of educational or tutorial content, it generally takes me a lot longer. But now it's finally done and packed with lots of new learning material. If you don't know what Grease Pencil is, well, imagine creating a simple drawing, but instead of sitting on a flat page, it actually exists in 3D. This tool in Blender allows you to do just that. I use Grease Pencil in most of my work and it feels like drawing in air. It enables you to create magical 3D worlds with the freedom and style of hand drawing. In my course, Magic Storybook, I teach you everything you need to know to get started with it. And in this new update, I focus on how to use Grease Pencil in a workflow that combines 3D elements. We'll explore techniques to create vibrant 2.5D scenes that move from beyond the flat page into dimensional space. Don't worry if you're not a drawing pro or fairly new to 3D. This course is totally beginner friendly. There's over 10 hours of content, downloadable project files, and access to help anytime you need it. For specifics, the course is divided into two parts. The first, which consists of chapters two through five, will be a deep dive on Grease Pencil, serving as a general primer for the tool. We'll conclude this part by creating an entire scene with it, a whimsical fantasy village. The second part, which consists of chapters 6 through 10, will focus on incorporating Grease Pencil into a cohesive 2D 3D workflow. Using this knowledge, we'll create our second scene, a mysterious alchemy lab. Beginning with the first part, in chapter 2, we'll do an overview of Grease Pencil, drawing in 3D space and exploring the various modes used to interact with the tool. Some sample project files will also be available to check out. Then in chapter three, we'll create our first building using what we've learned. This building will be the start of our fantasy village scene that we'll complete in part one. In chapter four, we'll build out the scene, working on it in segments, starting with the midground, foreground, and then the background. And in chapter five, we'll do an overview of animating with grease pencil and refine our strokes accordingly. Then we'll finalize our scene and render it out. Moving on to the second part, in Chapter 6, we'll start by covering some advanced Grease Pencil features and capabilities. This includes the Grease Pencil Tools add-on, as well as techniques for rigging and deforming strokes. In Chapter 7, we'll introduce 2D 3D art and what that workflow looks like in Blender. In Chapter 8, we'll begin modeling our Alchemy Lab scene that we'll complete in Part 2. In Chapter 9, we'll move on to shading, lighting, and adding outlines to our meshes. And in Chapter 10, we'll incorporate Grease Pencil elements and animate them simultaneously to complete our scene and render it out. For each video, English captions are available. You can toggle them on by clicking the subtitles icon at the bottom right. And below that, you'll find links to download the project files for each video to practice on. There's also a comment section, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them there or join the CG Boost community for students only. There, you can ask questions, share your renders, or receive feedback. 
If you'd like to view this course offline, you can request access to the download section where you'll find the course videos and project files. You can find the course on cgboost.com and if you're already enrolled, this update is free. Thanks again and see you guys next time.